Hi, y'all. Oh my gosh, that guy's riding a motorcycle with flip-flops on. Oh, Lord. Anyway, <coughs> first of all, I want to thank you, Lynn, for providing some things for my yard. I really appreciate that. Um, and there's more to come. But I just wanted to say thank you. Um, it took me a while to remember, so I apologize for that. Um, <clears throat> I have decided, y'all, that I am going to have to take Hazel to... Um, A vet not a Banfield vet I think that her last visit to the vet to have her ears cleaned is what has caused her deafness now y'all I know she was losing her hearing a little bit I had to be a little bit louder with her but she still called, she still came when I called her. She still got excited when I said, do you want to go for a ride? She got excited when I said, do you want a treat? Um, but she has, I would say, completely lost her hearing. And I made a little video, I don't think I've put it out yet, of her lying next to me in the bed and me hollering at her and getting no response. Now, I can't take her to another band field because they have her records. And all they have to do is look in the computer and see that one of their veterinarians treated her last so I'm going to make an appointment and I'm going to take her to um, a different veterinary clinic I'm going to tell y'all if they cause my little girl's deafness I am going to sue them I'm not one of those people that is so happy and I just look for things trust me there have been times in my life that I could have sued a company before <clears throat> there's that model train museum back there we'll have to go sometimes I'll bring Terry but This is a whole different thing, y'all. If somebody, if Banfield caused the deafness in my baby, they're going to pay for it. Do I feel like they did something that caused it? Yeah, I do. Because when I took her in for that ear cleaning, she was. Her hearing was getting not so good, but she was not deaf by any means. Now, y'all know, I, I told you that they um, traumatized her during that visit. And no wonder she was traumatized, you guys. I don't know what they used to clean her ears, but I know she's hard to handle. They were holding her down. They had a muzzle on her. 
And when I got her back, she was traumatized. So I am going to take her in. It's going to be expensive, I know. Regular vets are expensive. I don't mean regular, but I don't have a plan with the veterinarian that I choose to take her to. <clears throat> Now, since I've moved into the Little Blue Cottage, I do have more um, financial responsibilities than I did. But I'm going to have to work it out, y'all, because I'm telling you, if they did something, if they perforated her eardrum, then I'm not going to let that go. Now, I don't know if I'd be able to find an attorney that would take it on a contingency basis because I definitely don't have the money to pay an attorney. <clears throat> It'll be all I can do to take her to another vet. But I can't let this go, y'all. At first, I thought that maybe it was because she had so much um, cleaning solution in her ears and she was having all that drainage I thought it would get better but it hasn't so get ready y'all for all hell to break loose if another vet tells me that that procedure is what caused her loss of hearing, I will be on the warpath, most definitely. You might be able to get by with doing stuff to me, but you're not gonna get by with doing stuff to my kids or my little animal. It's not going to happen. So I just wanted to update y'all on that and what I'm going to do about it. And uh, that's it really for this video. I just wanted y'all to know what's going on and what I'm going to do about it. And I definitely will update y'all after I take her to the vet. I have to wait for my um, AdSense to come in, which is around the <clears throat> 23rd, not too long from now. But I don't know, y'all. I'll talk to you later. Bye now.